points P and D are taken on this ellipse. If ABCD are the length of sides of quadrilateral PADB, where A and B are the focus of the ellipse, then we have to find the maximum value of ABCD. Now, this is a very interesting problem from conic sections. For the given ellipse, A square is more than B square. So, this will be a horizontal ellipse. Now, inside this ellipse, we are making a quadrilateral. And the two vertices of that quadrilateral are at the focus of ellipse. And the remaining two vertices are on the ellipse. So, first let us draw the diagram. So, let us say this is our quadrilateral PADB. A and B, these two points are the focus of ellipse. And the different sides are, let us say side PA is a small a. Similarly, this is B, C and D. So, the problem is what is the maximum value of product of these four sides? That is, what is the maximum value of A, B, C, D? Now, in this problem, first we have to find the sum of these four sides. That, that is, first we will try to calculate A plus B plus C plus D. And then using AMGM inequality, we will find the maximum value of A, B, C, D. Because once we have the sum of four sides, then we can write A plus P plus C plus D divided by 4. That is the arithmetic mean of these four numbers. This must be greater than or equal to A, B, C, D raised to 1 by 4. That is geometric mean of these four numbers. Now, here we can use one interesting property of ellipse. That if we have a point on ellipse, then sum of the distances of that point from the two focus, that is nothing but length of major axis of the ellipse. Here the ellipse is x square by 4 plus y square by 2 equals to 1. So a square is 4. That means a will be 2 and length of major axis is 2a. So length of major axis, this will be 4 unit. So because point P is on the ellipse, PA plus PB, that is A plus D, this must be length of major axis, which is 4. So in place of A plus D, we can write 4. And similarly, Point D is on the ellipse. So, the distance of point D from the two focus, that is A and B, this will be again length of major axis. So, B plus C, this will be again 4 unit. So, in place of A plus D, we can write 4. Similarly, B plus D, this will be 4. This divided by 4, this must be greater than or equal to A, B, C, D raised to 1 by 4. And now, from here, we can say that A, B, C, D, this must be less than or equal to 2 raised to 4, which is 16. So, therefore, the maximum value of ABCD, this must be 16.